Welcome to another day in the Matrix. This is Waters Above. Happy June, everyone. I hope the weather is getting better wherever you're at in the realm and you're enjoying that sunshine and time with Mother Nature. And today is the day my new crypto decoding blueprint has officially launched just hours ago, separately from my decoding mastermind, where it was included within that course for free. So for those who are just interested solely in this new crypto decoding blueprint, it's available now at watersabove.com slash crypto decoding. And just last night, I added an additional five course lessons to this blueprint, including a decode of Solana which has been highly requested, and a four-part series dedicated to decoding this 2024 crypto bull run, including a sneak peek of my upcoming Year of the Snake Decoded, which I normally release a couple weeks before the Chinese New Year. But by investing in this crypto decoding blueprint, you'll have access to some of the most crucial information in that decode six months in advance. Being one of the first to have access to one of my most requested decodes of the year. And this brings even more value to this project. And yes, during the 2024 bull run decoded course lessons, I expose how I see this bull run playing out and when to anticipate the next Bitcoin all time high and what price targets I'm expecting with some of the most unique charts you'll ever see, proving how this cycle will come to its conclusion and even revealing when to expect the start of the next bear market. So you can actually time this market and know when the most optimal time is to take profits. And for this intro price, using the promo code red pill for your first order, this will get you one of the most value packed projects I've ever released for just $100. And with these course lessons revealing how to time this bull run for profit taking, that alone is worth 10x your investment in this crypto decoding blueprint. And I really poured my heart and soul into this one and wanted this to be the perfect blueprint to utilize for the rest of this bull run. So it's short and sweet, just 20 step by step video course tutorials covering my most important strategies only and at the best price for the value that's included. And for those that invested in my decoding mastermind over the past week, I hope you're enjoying this new project. Your support means the world to me. And for those that are investing in my new crypto decoding blueprint today, I appreciate your continued support truly. And the link to this new project and more details can be found in the description of this video or the pinned comment. Now let's get into these markets and review our monthly close for May and the setup into this first week of June to be prepared for what's to come next week with the upcoming Federal Reserve FOMC meeting on June 12th. So if you're new here, we do cryptocurrency technical analysis and combine it with gematria, numerology, and astrology to understand these markets feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to stay updated on when new videos come out and make sure to give this video a like and share this channel with other conscious beings to help grow our community and with that being said let's take the clear pill so in the last video i released back on may 29th i mentioned the date of june 3rd which was yesterday as a significant date tied to this rare astrological alignment called the planetary parade and i shared a quick decode regarding new york city since this alignment of planets were visible together in the sky in new york on june 3rd and yesterday I had a ton of people reaching out to me with this screenshot of the New York Stock Exchange um, misbehaving, let's just say. And in my last video, after I mentioned that I'm keeping the first week of June in mind, I said with this planetary alignment visible in New York on June 3rd, that's definitely interesting since that's where, of course, the New York Stock Exchange is in the financial district of Manhattan, New York. And here we are, the stock market is glitching out and the New York Stock Exchange said it's investigating this. But like all glitches, you cannot take them so seriously. But I must say, seeing this happen with something like Berkshire Hathaway and gold is definitely flaring up my intuition. So are they telling us something here? Well. Funny enough, in the new crypto decoding blueprint I just released, I actually introduce a theory I have for what's coming next for the stock market and the economy as a whole, and something I call the Aquarian economy, where we have the tokenization of the stock market and 
Eventually everything is on the blockchain, but first I feel that the everything bubble needs to pop first, but that's just a concept that I'll uh, probably have to cover in future videos. For now, let's quickly check out the Dow Jones chart since we want to see how everything was going down yesterday with all this volatility. And you can see right here, uh, let me pull up the four hour chart for, for instance, big liquidity injection followed by this twin towers candle setup and then a buyback into market close. So on the daily chart, you'll see a big tail on this candle. Same case with the S&P 500 and as well with the NASDAQ. I mean, look at the past two daily candles on the NASDAQ, it's just wild. Then we have to check in with the silver chart, almost 3% down today. So they're really suppressing this thing, couldn't be more obvious. And simultaneously, we have the GameStop ritual back in full swing, another glorious fake out candle. The volatility has been wild lately, and I believe it will continue throughout this month with the upcoming FOMC meeting on June 12th, which is next Wednesday. June 12th is important, let me show you really quickly, because it's the day leaving 202 days left in the year, and that's significant because we have the 22 code. You remove the zero with the rules in numerology, and you have the master number 22. And again, we're in the year of the dragon with 22 in Chaldean. And our main number for this year is the number 24. So keep in mind this upcoming Monday being the 204 days left in the year. We have that 24 code. Remember, we're in the year of 24. We're in the Hebrew year of 5,784, which reduces to 24. And this will also be 64 days since the April 8th solar eclipse, the Great American Eclipse, which was absolutely ritualized. And this 64 code is important because of the gematria of Israel, giving you 64 in just English ordinal cipher. And they've been the talk of the town this entire year of 2024. And with this being on a Monday uh, regarding June 10th, just know that since the beginning of this year, 2024, around 80% of Mondays close green for Bitcoin. And around five times where it closed red on a Monday, almost all of them still had a sort of like a fake out pump to the upside. So we can actually check in on the Bitcoin chart and see how this went down yesterday. This was Monday's candle. And you'll see it's the same exact style of candle as the prior Monday, just this huge wick to the upside, followed by a sell off into daily close and ultimately lower highs. And that is what we saw yesterday. Big fake out to pretty much the same level, followed by a sell off into market close and closing on lower highs still in this micro structure. So remember, guys, there's bots running this market on an algorithm. Humans are barely involved anymore at this point. So lastly, a couple uh, in a couple days, we have this month's new moon. All right. On June 6th. And what I teach is to expect a five day window around the new moon as your typical micro cycle top. So until around June 11th or so, we can be topping out in the short term, especially if Bitcoin cannot clear this macro resistance at 71k and that's been pretty much in the cards since march so that's the most important level right now not only for bitcoin but for this entire cryptocurrency market because in order to have alt season you need to have bitcoin price discovery and in order to have bitcoin price discovery you need to clear this key resistance level at 71,500 and of course eventually start closing daily candles above 74k for continuation meaning if we continue to get rejected slightly below the 60 or 70k level excuse me which is the top of this fib pulls golden pocket the fib pull is from our current all-time high down to the swing low of May 1st. So as long as we're getting rejected and hanging out within this golden pocket territory, well, the this could actually start rolling over into this upcoming full moon of the month and just holding this higher low structure. And in plain English, that means more sideways. But that also means more opportunity. So this is important, guys, because here I always say, don't be a bull. Don't be a bear, be a wolf 
follow the moon. We still have more time left to DCA into position. This is still an opportunity zone for a lot of altcoins before we enter the true alt season. So we do have this cup and handle formation. Uh, and the question is, do we have this cup and handle, which we're seemingly starting to break out of the handle? Um, or do we have this cup and handle, which is we have the red line over here, the red arc is similar to the one we have over here. Or we have this blue one. It's a little bit more experimental, but I am keeping it in mind. So I do have this red circle down here around this 61 to 62K level. That could be important. And we're just going to show you by the levels right now. We know that 71.5K is our macro resistance. And if we actually start to get rejected where we're at now and close dailies below these two white lines, which we'll just say the daily close of Sunday, May 19th, which was at $66,300. If we started closing below 66K again, we have to watch out for that because any daily closes below that level could lead to another retest of around 63K. And for now, Bitcoin should actually hold this monthly support around 60K. I believe it should. It's less likely for Bitcoin to trade lower than these May 1st lows at this time, and it's more likely that with any corrections, it's just higher lows and more structure is being developed within the 60 to 70K range. Now, please be open-minded to what I just said, because we've been in this horizontal trading range now for over three months, going on almost 100 days. And we had the Bitcoin halving recently. We had Bitcoin ETFs approved and launched. We just had a couple weeks ago the Ethereum ETFs launched keep this stuff in mind guys and my intuition is saying that it'll take until after this upcoming FOMC meeting on June 12th to see any progress in these markets as we're moving out of sidereal Taurus and into sidereal Gemini around June 15th into June 16th this is telling me that with this upcoming full moon that we're getting on June 22nd, we, although we might not be going lower than where we're at in the structure right now for Bitcoin, we could be getting a correction and that could be giving you another opportunity before the show continues because this is the presidential election year data of the stock market. And as you can see, June and uh, sorry, July and August are typically pretty awesome. So we've been spending enough time here in this horizontal trading range, and now I'm flipping more on the bullish side. Even if we do get short-term uh, corrections, I'm just going to take that as an opportunity to buy more altcoins. Um, now let's go into a quick TA on Ethereum and XRP and wrap up today's video. We have Ethereum. Off of the ETF approval, this big green candle was pure speculation. Then we had the actual approval, but no launch of the ETH ETF. Slight higher high on the daily close a couple days later, but since we've come right back down to the same level we were trading at days before the ETF was approved and on the day of the ETF approved, this is starting to look like a distributional top and you need to be cautious here. So. I feel that if we cannot hold this level at around 3,700, let's just say if we start seeing closures below that, that's likely to slide a little bit deeper on Ethereum. Just something to keep in mind. I'm going to quickly pull up some of these moving averages and see where things are at. So we're effectively in a bullish posture across the board. We've started closing dailies below the 8. We're now getting to the 13. The 21 is the line in the sand. Closing below that 21, you're likely to swing down to this 55 simple. So if Bitcoin was to come back to 63K, I would anticipate a 3,100 to 3,200 Ethereum, and that will bring the entire altcoin market down. That'll be a gorgeous buying opportunity. Again, not financial advice, but I would absolutely be scooping up at this time because where I feel we're at right now is similar to this phase over here. So this is the prior bull run. This is the top from January 2018. This is your selling climax low of the very end of 2018. Here you have the C19 crash. And after that, you had this moment. It was a small distributional top. And then we had this cup and handle sort of formation. It's actually called a backup phase in Wyckoff method. It was a final dip before price discovery. So this went on for about 80 or so days. And then after that, it just kept going one step higher after another step higher. 
we are now in that moment where this was effectively our backup phase for Ethereum, but we're not out of it just yet. We know we're not out of it until we clear this level. So could we have one more test to the downside? Absolutely, because this was all narrative driven. This wasn't really much besides Ethereum just catching up to Bitcoin. That's all it did. It caught up to Bitcoin where it's at, and now it's stabilized. So what comes next is we need to see how this goes over the next couple days over the next week and if we can't hold our levels and this FOMC meeting doesn't go as bullish as some people might think well then we could get another quick dip but one thing I want to preface with is that I wouldn't be waiting for more dips right now guys especially if you're not exposed to this market at all this is not a time to be waiting around a lot of altcoins still have so much upside potential that if you're this one who's waiting and waiting and waiting for more of a pullback that's not the way to go because even like this example with XRP, it's still pretty much hovering in the same range that it's been in for a long enough time that this isn't going to make much more downside moves. And if it does, it's just going to be bought back up to 50 cents again. So you can't be getting greedy to the downside is what I'm trying to say. Just some words of wisdom. Well, what we have right now in XRP is a similar story to last week, so I can't be sharing too much more of an update, but I do feel like the way that this has been structured with this dotted trend line support at the bottom going all the way back to the C19 crash after the Ripple SEC crash all throughout our bear market, you can see this dotted line has been back tested, and that's been the case lately with all of these tails to the downside just wicking into those levels and we're actually still form forming uh, higher lows. So this is a bear triangle considering it's coming off of a push to the downside, but we zoom out as always and you can see that we're just holding this major trend line support. So I have a hard time entertaining um, XRP going much lower at this point, but it could continue to hold the, the recent two month low range, which is higher lows. Again, big reminder about XRP, in order to see us repeat what happened in this 2016-2017 breakout in this moment right here, we need Bitcoin price discovery. It's when Bitcoin starts breaking 74, 75 and heading towards 80, that's when we'll see this thing get unleashed. And my intuition tells me that'll be likely synchronized with the end of this SEC case. So I'm open to this concluding within the next couple months it would make a lot of sense to and bitcoin's price discovery is literally right around the corner so anything i mentioned recently about a dip or a correction it's just technical it's not a crash i'm not calling for the market to melt away it's just more opportunity so we're staying very level-headed in this very neutral and this is the perfect place to wrap up this video keep in mind the major levels i told you about bitcoin this potential cup and handle that does have a support zone somewhere between 61 to 63 and i appreciate all of your support showing interest in this new crypto decoding blueprint i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below if you've started some of the decodes that i've shared within it let me know how it's been going for you and appreciate every single one of you and wishing you the most amazing week ahead in this matrix much love